Tell us what you're doing, Paddy. I'm doing a camp bannock that I pre prepared. Oh, you're really on it. Made it up before we left. Oh, yeah, made it up dry, of course. Wholemeal flour, baking soda, or baking powder. A few raspberries thrown through, cinnamon powder, and uh, when you get the camp, drop a, throw a drop of water into it. Mix it all up in the bag. I always carry a bit of coconut uh, oil. It's a little bit solidified now, but when it gets warm, it liquefies. But I use that as well for after stropping and sharpening blades. Pull it on to keep your blade from going rusty. As you do. Uh, I'm just doing a jelly here now. Grease, grease your proof paper. Your metal file. Grease your proof paper. Grease oh, your proof, your grease proof paper. Grease your paper. Nice and sparingly around the edges, just so the banner doesn't stick to the file. Now I know in the image you know jelly lost them, but how are never. We don't have our charm. Right, so we put a bit of that. Coconut oil in there. And I'm mixing this. Oop. Now, might be a bit too much water in it, Michael. Do you think? As you do. Now, what I'm trying to do is going to make a little sort of a mini oven and keep it by the fire but not on top of the fire, if you know what I mean. And you catch my drift. <laughs> looks like that. Does it look like that? <laughs> it doesn't look appealing at all, dude. I want to get the bad point. I think I got the bad point. <laughs> As you do. Anyway, and we threw a few raspberries and a few blackberries in here. Now it's only a little, uh, little uh, one-man bannock for me. Obviously not going to be enough for me. Right. So you don't cook it in the plastic is what uh, you're saying? No, you don't cook it in the plastic. You buy, <laughs> you buy it in the bag. Now you do it on gas mark 4 for about 15 minutes. You don't stick your fingers in it when there's somebody else eating it. Now what I do like... I do like you do. Right, when you get your... Uh, Bit of bannock. Now you add your little bit of flavoring. I'm getting some 100 year old banana. I have a an apple tree at home, so that's where I got this banana. Local fruit. Little bit of banana fruit. It will help keep it moist as well. Now, plenty of, uh, there's plenty of carbs in this, as you will see, wholemeal flour. Very important, put your utensils away. Right, so we've got banana, and we also have, if you look around here, we have wild garlic everywhere. But, we won't be putting on it. Right. You make yourself a little handle. You leave the air circulate through it. So it's just closing up, sealing the side gently. You want it like a little mini oven. Working on convection, cooking on convection. Now, you put that on a log beside the fire. If you walk this way, I will show you where I fire it. This is the campfire folks. And what we do is we leave it there on gas mark 4 for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, turning occasionally, and don't stir it. 
Don't be tempted to open it and check it and see if it's working. Just leave it be. Well, let's have a look and see how the coffee is doing. Michael, did you check the coffee? 